Jared passed away, I went into the studio because that was always a comfortable place for me. It was a place where Jared worked. It's where he made his final pots. And it's where we shared a lot. I didn't know why I was going in. I just went in. Probably just to, to be in a comfortable place, a place that I thought was gonna be comfortable. And it wasn't. I was just bombarded with with memories and thoughts and images and visions and I just, I don't think I spent more than 10 minutes. I went home. I came back the next day, just forced myself to come back. And I just looked around, I spontaneously took some clay, sat at my wheel and made a tea bowl. That was the first chawan or the first authentic tea bowl that I ever made. After having made hundreds of forms like this but never having the presumption to call them a tea bowl. But Jared made them, and he made them expertly and beautifully. And this was now my first tea bowl. And then I came back the next day, I made six more, and then I came back every day and made one a day. And the inspiration, of course, was Jared making these chawans as a tribute and, and as, a, as my cottage to Jared was, was, there was no thought, there was no decision to be made. This is what I do. I saw these chawans unfinished every day. They were in a, two sets of shelves, seven feet high and four feet wide. Every so often I would lift up the plastic and pick one up and hold it just to connect with it and kind of talk to it and talk to myself is, am I ready to, am I gonna finish these? Am I ready to do this? And I just wasn't. And I would just put it back on the shelf with the others. It was just me and the Chawan just speaking every day until they spoke to me and said, you know, it's time. share the common bond of having had children that have passed away. And that's what brought us together. It's called Fathers Forever. One of the things is the fear that the memory of our children will fade away over time. And what are we doing and what can we do to, to slow that down, or delay it, or prevent it? Eighteen months ago, the uncertainty vanished and a vision began to present itself. It was then that I committed myself to assembling what we are in the midst of now. I asked myself, is this exhibition to be about me, about Jared? Conceptualizing and installing this exhibition was as much a part of the journey as was the making and living with these objects for the past 10 years. It is as much a part of the journey that I have been on since Jared passed away and that I will continue to be on for the rest of my life.